Hello, I like to make today a little monster whoopie pies. So what we have is uh, basically we have to firstly preheat our oven to 180 uh, degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit, and we have to line uh, two of the um, baking uh, uh, trays with non-stick uh, baking paper and set aside. So next is what we do, we have one box of uh, Betty Crocker Devil's uh, food cake mix. It's about 540 gram and it's quite large. So what we've done is we took cake mix and sifted in large bowl. So next step is to add um, one third cup of oil in our cake mix. Then we add two eggs. Uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Break with your hands any lumps. Uh, brown sugar tend to have some lumps, so make sure your uh, cookies is nice and uh, um, have same consistency. Just to break any lumps. Um, put it in, and we have uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract as well. So what we do is here we stir all that together until um, dough becomes really, really thick. So what we do, it does not take long. It, it, as you can see, it's practically foam into dough already. Um, I tried this recipe um, just about a week ago. Um, and uh, and basically, uh, it tastes it's so good, it just disappears in one evening. Please do try, uh, and uh, you will not be disappointed. Uh, now, as you can see, it's all already done. It's really, really fast. So, what we do is next, we make a golf ball size dough balls, and uh, I just take probably some teaspoon, and um, so. From this recipe, we will get 10 whoopie pies, so it will be uh, 20 uh, those uh, little uh, golf balls because we join them uh, together. So let's uh, basically, it's probably be about golf uh, size, something let's have a look, uh, probably a little bit larger, I would say hipped, hipped um, a teaspoon, something like that. So what we do... We can place it right here. I saw a good idea. Say you have this dough. What you do, we need it 20. So subdivide it. 10, 10. And again, again. So we have 5, 5, 5, 5. That makes 20. At least you know how much sort of quick to measure. So we have uh, 20 golf size uh, balls of our whoopie pies. As you can see, we place 10 on one tray and 10 on another tray. So what we do is we uh, place in our preheated oven for about 6-8 minutes. Once it's done, I'll let it cool. Now, another thing I saw, please do not flat them too much because they tend to spread and, uh, f and for this reason uh, will be difficult to uh, decorate um, uh, after because we want to uh, place some ice and uh, the cheese for our little uh, monsters. So don't flat them. Just just if you want to just make them more straight, just uh, tap a little bit on top to make it not as round simply. That's all. But do not flatten too much. First time when I was doing uh, in the recipe was saying to flatten them. I flatten, they come out about like that. It was impossible to decorate. But because taste was so great, so I was going to make it eat again, So I will, which is we do it now. So let's place it for in oven for six to eight minutes. By the time when our uh, boopy pies is cooling down, as you can see, this is what they look like now. And by the time when they cool it down, what we do is we um, make some chocolate frosting. So for chocolate frosting, we need one a cup of butter, um, 
and uh, what we do with this we beat butter first until it's changed colors gets a little bit fluffy and then we can get uh, the um, rest ingredients once we finish beat our butter it's gonna change a little bit color become more smooth and fluffy so what we do is next we add uh, two teaspoon of the vanilla extract then one third of a cup uh, unsweetened cocoa powder and we add two tablespoons of milk so just uh, two tablespoons be fine what we do is next we beat it all together then we slowly start adding a uh, powdered icing sugar it just kind of like icing mixture or powdered icing uh, sugar we need about two to three cups of powdered sugar uh, it just depends how soft your butter was usually if it's butter really really soft it takes three cups if butter a little bit not as soft a little bit hot you probably will get two cups but watch for what you want uh, your desired consistency once we finish um, with our chocolate uh, frosting as you can see it has nice uh, rich uh, color smell is great taste is great and so basically what we have to do is next we have to place into your uh, piping bag for easier kind of for you uh, i snip it sort of like a not a small not a large something on a medium make sure it's uh, frosting comes uh, through but same time if it's too small it will be very difficult uh, and time consuming but if it's too big it gets really big blobs so what we do is next we need to assemble to assemble our little monster whoopie pies we need white chalk beads like this because we will place them for teas just something uh, that way just like as you can see teas next is uh, we will use a marshmallow for ice white ones we cut them uh, on the middle and put them uh, upside for ice for the pupils we're using uh, brown color uh, M&Ms which is we will attach with our frosting and for the tongues we use star bursts they come in the kind of wrapped uh, sort of uh, little squares which is you can unwrap them like this and combine colors as you like as you can see i made already some little tongues which is this is orange and yellow and the some of uh, uh, pink and red so to make it tongue like this what we do is we we'll make it one tongue at a time so take two unwrapped uh, for, uh, stabious juice and place in your microwave to about five to nine seconds depend on microwave my takes eight so it's soft enough to twist them around so let's place them in microwave and then we can twist them around after they soften in microwave as you can see they're very manageable and soft what we do is place on top of another twist them around as you like and we make it little tongues so we just twist them up twist them up and form them into tanga i saw if you find it difficult take glass and here our tongue so what we do is next we're just making a really really tongue type of uh, shape you can use this or you can use this does not really matter which one would you prefer and what we do we will place it on our non-stick baking paper for us until we finish with all our tongues now we can assemble our little monster whoopie pie so what we have is we have two um whoopie pies and what we do is take one place it upside down and what we do is we pipe small amount of 
the chocolate frosting on the bottom of our whoopie pie. Second is, choose your tongue, whatever you want, place it. Uh, now let's have a look. Place it on, tiny bit. Set in position. So next is, we will... Um, pipe larger amount of uh, chocolate frosting on top one thing only we wanted also make side which is um, closer to the tongue a little bit higher because we won't make it look like it actually has open mouth so once we're done that we place second whoopie pie on top and as you can see top is actually um uh, let's have a look this way it's better uh see top is actually under angle so a little bit higher so next is we can place the uh chalk bits for the teeth um it's about um six will go on uh, the top jaw and uh, four will go on uh, the bottom jaw two on each side so we place them right into our chocolate frosting it's very easy to do and now how many do we have here so we have one more and uh, so continue this way until we all done See, it looks like actually has um, opening mouth. When you want uh, to do bottom teeth, take your chalk bit and place them on the other side. See, top jaw goes this way. This is actually not very good tooth. What about this one? Yeah. And the bottom jaw goes other side. Here we are. So that is done. Next is we take our white marshmallow, split it on half with the kitchen scissors, and place it very sticky part. Now we place it on top of whoopy pie right here. Next is I just take a little bit of uh, the chocolate frosting. You can pipe it or uh, use a knife or something to place it. Your brown um, M&Ms for the pupils. And here we are. What we do is we can have a look now on our little monster whoopie pies. And as you can see, they really looks great. So I hope you do like this sort of recipe. Believe me, it's not only look funny, but it's also very, very tasty. Please do try. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, please do um, write. Uh, everything will be in the description box, as always. Thank you very much for your time with me today. Uh, until next time, goodbye.